all right guys welcome back to my channel it's been like a thousand and one years it hasn't really been but i just moved to the mainland which is why new setup new everything bear with me on the quality for a little while i'm ordering a new camera because i know that's pretty much trash but Hopefully you guys are still happy with it. And yeah, I like just finished finally sort of setting up in my new place here. So I was just like really lazy, no makeup, just super lazy. Basically I was just finished setting stuff up and then I was laying around the house and I just wanted to eat some ice cream. And I missed you guys, so I decided why not just film. So sorry for the like house attire look but you guys better deal with it because this is just me on the like daily <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna be eating these salted caramel ice creams because if you guys know i don't know if you know salted caramel is my everything and i love it so yeah if i can get it open the actual struggles are real I'm so excited to try this. Yes. Please open package, work with me. Ooh, okay. It's looking pretty basic, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, guys, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, yo, never mind. I said this looked basic, this tastes not basic. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna eat slow because I got so much to talk to you guys about. So, as a lot of you guys knew, I lived on an island and randomly just decided finally like F it, I'm gonna move to the mainland so I packed up well first I graduated college. I start my bachelor's this fall. But I packed up, moved here, and yeah, I'm here. I don't really have like hang on, sorry. I'm being hecka lazy, so I'm gonna get comfy. Oh. There we go. And so, yeah, now I'm here. Things here are so different, like I just had no idea. It's crazy different. And but 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 it's been good. <laughs> I mean I'm definitely missing home, but well I'm here now, so you know I gotta deal with it. But I'm in the process of getting new cameras and fully setting up my Twitch and all that and that's finally gonna happen definitely sometime this month once I'm like fully settled I'll be back on all my usual stuff although I've been on YouTube consistently this whole time because I eat so much that I have so many videos it's really bad I'm so I had enough videos for when I left when really it's been like who a while since I filmed so those are all pretty old but yeah 
This is the current setup. Current. Bear with me. I might change it around a bit. Once I get a freaking camera. Mm. They didn't used to have this flavor where I was from, so I'm living right now. And I know I've been doing. I did my. I oh, wonder. I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> but. Ooh, look at that. But it just felt like. <clears throat> having a super chill ramble video because I don't know. Oh, well. I've recently realized it's like pretty fun to whisper and stuff, but you know me, I'm loud, so. <laughs> but I might do. More whisper types in the future. I don't know so. New place that I'm in is very nice, but mainland's just so different. First of all. People like, I guess because it's the summer maybe, but it's like, first of all, no, skirt that. First of all, it's freaking freezing here. I'm like by far the coldest I've been in my entire life here, which is crazy. Um, I've been walking around like the biggest weirdo with, because I only brought slippers because, you know, I'm from an island so I only had like slides and slippers. I didn't have any shoes. And so I've been walking around with a, sh a shirt, with a sweatshirt on top, with a jacket over that, with a pair of slippers with socks on because it's freezing. I'm, I'm sure everyone here thinks I look crazy. But like, back home is pretty normal, like during the winter when it's really cold for people to wear socks on with their slippers, but <laughs> I did it the other day here. And like, I got some weird looks, guys. <laughs> struggle for real. This is so good. So, I think this is the first time you can see it, but for those of you guys who don't know, I have a tattoo. The hype. I don't know. <laughs> but guys, the amount of how scary the mainland is compared to back home is real. Oh, so it's a Saturday and my neighbors are like talking 
out in the freaking yard for like I don't know why. So oh. love to cut this part because it being so loud. But yeah, it's a Saturday, so I guess it's kind of loud. But at least it's not birds, cause you guys have been whining about birds. Like I live on an island. There's birds. I don't even notice it. But I have some crazy stories about like it being scary here. First of all, there's like gas stoves here. I have no idea how they work. I almost caught my own shirt on fire the other day because I had the burner on and it's like gas. So it's like fire. I don't know. We don't have that where I'm from. And I leaned over the burner and my shirt like fell in and almost just caught myself on fire. Oh my gosh, guys, the struggles are endlessly real. So like, there's a legitimate list of just me living in my own house struggles. But when I got here, like from home before, we were staying in a hotel for a few weeks before we found like a really good place to stay. Um, not many hotels took dogs or whatever and I had my two dogs and they came with me obviously because I love them. So, I'm so tired. I've just been laying around all day. I'm exhausted. But so, we kind of just stayed in one of the few hotels that allowed dogs to stay. Not... But we didn't, like, know anything about here. Don't ask me why, I just up and moved. It's complicated, but like, we didn't know anything. And so the hotel, which was one of the only ones that took dogs, was like some drug cartel hotel thing. We got into the hotel at like, who? I want to say one in the morning, could have been later. And the guy gave us our key and we went over to our room, which is like outside, cause it's like a two story outside building kind of thing. And we, we pull up and our door to our room is open. And I'm like, we're not going in there. We're gonna get murdered. There's probably someone like in there. So we go back to the desk and the desk guy goes over and he goes in the room and gets into like a huge fight because there were random people who like broke into the room. And then he's screaming with them and they're screaming at him and we're just like in the car like, mm, I'm gonna get murdered. <laughs> but there was nowhere else to stay with the dogs, so. He finished beefing, gave us a different key. We go to this different room and we're just like, okay, maybe we'll live. And nothing bad happened to us, but during the like week and a half I stayed there while we were shopping for houses and stuff like that, one person got their car stolen one night people got really drunk and started like smashing vodka bottles off the second story like down right in front of our room so that's a drama someone else got into beef and the cops came like a lot and at one point like what is that called an f a swat unit i don't know 
like a big van full of cops came and there was all this drama and that was crazy and then so I would take I would walk my dogs out to go to the bathroom and stuff and there was like heroin needles like on the ground and where I'm from we have that but not really and so I was just like I'm gonna die and basically there was just kind of all of these creepy older guys staying there but then there was some regular families too but mostly creepy older guys and so the whole time I just like had a hoodie on and stayed hidden because I didn't effing want someone attacking me or something and it was crazy oh and my dog bit a guy that happened also Maybe I'll eat one more. I'm pretty full though. <laughs> but yeah, so let me explain. Walking my dog. And this guy just wants to come up and like talk, I guess. And I told him like, oh no, don't touch my dog, like whatever. And my dog bit him and there was a literal trail of blood from the front door of my room to his room where he went from like his hand bleeding to death and I just mean like this what would you like don't come by my dogs especially when it's just me and it's some guy and like you know he might not have been giving off the best vibes like my dogs don't bite people but I don't know I guess he just did freaking crazy Anyways, then we finally moved out. We moved here and now I'm finally chilling out again. But that's like a quick, not so detailed overview, also not so quick, of what's been up with me. And yeah, I've just been lazy and stuff. And I'll be back officially, like in the time of right now, <laughs> not with anything pre recorded anymore. So make sure to leave a like down below for this like mukbang, not really anything eating show and subscribe if you want to eat with me again. So yeah.